In this video, we are going to attempt to access our server remotely from the command line, from our main computer or desktop environment, wherever you're working from, to our hosted server, which is our droplet or whatever, whatever you want to call the VPS we've developed for the Ubuntu 16 LTS server. We made sure we have a static IP, that's no big issue, and the IP that we had for this example was 192.168.56.101. So what we want to do instead of pinging is we want to type SSH space the username, the at sign, and then the IP address. So go ahead and follow along. If you notice, our connection was refused. The reason why is because when we initially set this up, we did not install OpenSSH. I did that intentionally because I wanted to go through the process of installing the OpenSSH server. So go ahead, clear out this information, and then follow along. We are going to do a sudo apt-get uh, update, and then we're also going to do a sudo apt uh, install OpenSSH. Now, if you're curious and want to do this all by yourself and you're a go-getter and you like to test things out and break things, open up a browser and then go to the following web address. I'll leave that here. You can scroll on down and read the in introduction. This is what we'll be going through. You don't need the client, just the server. And then you can go through all this fun stuff, which I'll be covering in video two. So let's jump over to our server, let's log in, and let's go through the update and installation process. Next, just to make sure that the OpenSSH server is running, I want you to go ahead and type sudo server ssh restart. Now, back in your command line, your terminal, whatever it is for your main computer, your desktop environment that you're working in, not the server, go ahead and attempt to SSH back into it. So I'm going to push the up arrow, which will cycle through my recent uh, actions, and then I'm going to attempt to do this again. And it goes, okay, authentication, do you want to do it? Oh yeah, let's type yes. Permanently added to the list of known hosts, what's your password? And so make sure you supply your password or Actually, I think in this instance, just press enter. It says denied. No, okay, so. And cool, we've SSH'd into it. So now if I type ls, nothing. But if I do change directory, dot, dot. My home directory, this is what's going on. So I have full access into what's going on. And if you want proof, if I come over here and I do change directory, dot, dot. Same thing. Not as clean, but you know that it, it exists. So in the next video, we're actually going to create our own SSH um, public and private key value pairs.